Uh, Trevor, come here. So, I've been thinking about spazzing a lot and trying to define what spazzing is. And I think the context of what we just worked on is it's like such a perfect example of it, okay? Because you hear people say, like, don't spaz out and jujitsu and everything. And there's an obvious definition to spazzing, which is I put my fingers in your eyes and, like, you know, like, that, that's an obvious definition. I kick you in the groin or something like that. Those are the very obvious definitions, but you'll see that coaches continuously are like, no, it's more than that. You need to relax. You need to this and that or whatever. And this whole relaxation component, I think, is really highlighted in the technique that we're working on. I've come up with it as four U's for thinking about what spazzing means. What does it mean that he gives me energy that is like spaz energy, okay? Spaz energy is unidirectional. He is moving in one direction, okay? Like he's committing fully and completely to one direction, all right? It is uh, unsustainable. If he were to do that action over and over and over again, he would get intolerably tired, okay? He would not be able to continue to fight, all right? And when the lungs are gone, he can't fight anymore. Um, it is unstable. As a result of choosing to be completely unidirectional, he foregoes base and posture, but particularly base. He's not, he cannot have base when he's spazzing. He's, he's decided to just like be on his toes and just completely going into me. There's a lot of different ways that he could spaz. And then the last part is it's unresponsive. It, it all feeds into that unidirectional thing. Without base, there's no ability to pivot, change, and convert what he's doing into something else, right? So I have a good structure on him. I got my shoulder nice and deep to where it's connected to the iliac crest okay and he decides that to hell with your shoulder i'm going to drive right through that he's going to go right through and as a result like my arm starts to break down but he is unidirectional here okay he is on do you feel stable no he's doing like a isometric hold to be up here so i am taking advantage of that energy and i'm always taking advantage of spazzing by taking him in the direction that he is so hell-bent on going in, okay? So if he's hell-bent and he's gonna put everything into that direction, I'm gonna assist him in going in that direction. So a quick other example, like we're up in the body lock and he has decided that he is gonna maintain the body lock hot, come hell or high water, even as I get good structure on him and it, he should probably let go, but he's just like, I am just keep driving forward, driving forward, driving forward and he throws himself, okay? The energy that he produces is the energy I'm going to use. Like, so unidirectionality is kind of what defines spazzing in my opinion. Well, you just, you have decided to forego all base, all right? And if you don't have base, I'm gonna take you in the same direction that you wanna go in, in every single context, right?